can't go to Perth tonight, Ollie, without talking about vegans. Now, <laughs> you've, you've got a restaurant owner over there who banned vegans. Uh, he says mm. uh, that bookies have now gone through the roof. Now, I'm presuming, I shouldn't be presumptuous, I'm presuming, uh, Ollie, you're not a vegan, uh, so you don't have a problem. Um, <laughs> but good on the bloke. He, he wants to cook food that he wants to cook. But vegans can go to a vegan restaurant. That's it. Or we can go to a vegan restaurant and request a steak. I think it's uh, it's hilarious, Steve, and it's I think it's a it's a great PR exercise ultimately as well because you know we, we have a bunch of activists in in Western Australia that like to make a song and dance at lots of different, uh, particularly steak or meat eating restaurants. But here you've got a classic example of vegans being banned. Quite uh, a colourful character he is. Might be looking for maybe a hosting position on the next season of Master Chef or something similar. But this is brilliant, Steve. And you know no vegans are welcome at this particular restaurant and that's down to the uh, you know to the to the to the restaurateur and to the chef to say uh, this is who we're going to accept in our restaurant you can go somewhere else so look it's we've had a good laugh over here uh, over the weeks Steve, with this particular story and I reckon it's a craze which might catch on because look as you say bookings are up everybody wants to go there it's the talk of the town Rashina tell me you're not a vegan please I'm not a vegan, and but I have to say I'm very supportive of this move. I think small business owners are doing it tough enough. Our hospitality industry is struggling with rising costs and labour, um, costs going up as well. Quite frankly, they should be allowed to offer the food they want to offer. And, I mean, this particular restaurant owner said that the move was yeah. because he had these vegan customers complaining online, writing him terrible reviews when he had previously bent over backwards for them. So I want to see small business thrive in this country, and I take my hat off to this guy for taking a step in the right direction. Yeah, well said. Oliver Peterson, Rashina Campbell, fantastic to have you both with us. Thanks very much for joining us.